ancient times, humans have expressed themselves through art. Using caves and walls as canvas, humans have depicted the joys and travails of everyday life for centuries. A form of art that has existed for hundreds of years is the Warli art. This art form is practiced by the Warli tribe, which is one of the largest tribes in Maharashtra, India. The word Warli is derived from the word Varal, meaning piece of land. Hundreds of years ago, some of the tribe's people started converting pieces of waste land into land for agriculture. This land was called Varal in their language and the farming community came to be known as Warli. Warli painting can be found in Dahanu, Palghar, Vase, Vara, Vikramgad and Jawar areas of Palghar district in Maharashtra. This is the Warli painting that we have done before. The Warli painting was done by our painting was done by our forefathers. The significance of these paintings is that it is drawn from our surroundings and experiences. See, initially one would have an idea and draw it on a wall such as a person hunting or fishing. At the time of festivals such as Diwali, marriages, a photograph of Ganesh is drawn on the wall called Dev Chowk. Earlier there was no canvas for paintings so they used to paint directly on the wall. Now, although we have access to other medium, we are continuing this tradition. This painting describes a night scene, the moon and stars. This is a pada, a tribal hamlet. And the community is enjoying a tarpa dance. This tarpa dance is a traditional Adivasi dance performed on moonlight nights. As you can see, the fireplace, a house with bullocks and trees. This is a snapshot of everyday life. The worldly paintings have managed to gain wide popularity today, comprising a basic graphic vocabulary of lines, circle, square and triangle. The paintings are proportionate and eye-pleasing. The paintings depict moments of happiness in the otherwise tough lives of the tribal community. Although this rich cultural tradition of worldly painting is based on the nature of the area, it is not uncommon to come across scenes of worldly society, customs, festivals and incidents of daily life getting realized on the walls. The background color of worldly painting is prepared from cow dung. The color is prepared by adding water in the dunk, mixing it thoroughly and straining completely with a cloth. We pack them in a tin for two to three months and keep them aside. We then use it as and when required. Rice color. Initially rice is milled on a grinding stone. It is fine sieved. Gum and water are mixed to it. This mixture is kept for 15 to 20 days. Then we can use it as a color. No one knew about artificial colors in old times. So these colors are eco-friendly and user-friendly. Earlier, we seldom looked at financial opportunities that could be generated from this art. But now, the benefits are evident. It provides employment and income and the most importantly, this art survives. We are sharing this art with the next generation. We earn income as per the quality and size of the paintings. Usually, the size of this painting is 1 feet by 1.5 feet and these paintings earns 1500 to 2000 rupees. In a month, assuming one could sell about 15 to 20 paintings, they will earn rupees 10,000 to 15,000 which is a considerable amount. Worldly paintings are known for their simple, straightforward beauty. A kind of harmony is achieved in these pictures. One can observe the folk life of the tribals from these paintings. The most important symbol of this is the tarpa, a musical instrument. 
This instrument and the paintings are closely interconnected. The instrument and the tarpa dance are considered to be associated with agriculture and the joy of harvest. This art forms an integral part of Maharashtra's cultural identity. Warli painting is a mirror to the culture of Warli society. In modern times, this has also started as a source of income. The local people are trying to preserve this art which serves as a fine example of indigenous art forms.